As summer fades to autumn and the leaves start to change color, well, not here in Texas, it's kind of perpetually summer here, but I digress. At any rate, October once more has come upon us. Thus, once more, I feel the need to get out for a while, see the sights, enjoy a nice vacation. My travel agent over the past few years, she's nice and all, but really, I need some variety. I told her I was going to try a different agent this year. As I left her office, she only said, you'll be sorry. And yet, I can't shake the feeling it wasn't so much a threat as it was a warning. <laughs> I'm overthinking things. I must just be imagining it. After all, is it so wrong to want to try somewhere different for a change? I mean, any other travel agent should be fine, right? It's going to go just fine, right? Oh, hi, Ron. Oh, this can't end well. Wait a minute here, that's not right. Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, and it's time to start up our next project. Uh, the one I've kind of been dreading. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and skip the intro because again, it's spoilerific. But it's time to play Silent Hill 4, The Room. Yeah, this is gonna be a thing. So before we start off here, I need to go mess around in options a bit, because it doesn't automatically save your options, unless I guess you already have a game configured on here or whatever. Basically, we want subtitles on, because everybody is mumbly quiet in this game. And I'm gonna go ahead and up the brightness just so it shows up better on the recording. I've had problems with that before. Okay, we should be good. And, yes, we want to change the options. And with that, it's time to start. We'll be going with normal difficulty. There is no riddle difficulty in this particular game. And we have our little loading ghost there. We can play with the size if we want. It was two years ago that Henry Townsend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in the medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a recurring dream each night. One other thing. He couldn't leave room 302. Well, from the looks of it, we're certainly not getting our cleaning deposit back. <sighs> oh, hi, Pointless Scream. What's with this room? Well, that's what I'd like to know myself. It's covered in blood and rust. And those stains are hard to get out. I should know. Well, rust anyway, not blood so much. This is my room, but what happened to it? This room, is it really my room? Basically, at this point, we're just looking around at everything. It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy, my head hurts. Yeah, this doesn't exactly look like the most inviting room around. The door's shut tight. It won't open at all. Where did this big TV come from? I thought I had a record player here. I don't even know what this is. 
Well, it's called a radio. Or a stereo, whatever you want to call it. The window, I can't get it open. Who is this guy? Who are all these people? Those are people? 21 people. It can't be. Why are they here? You've got a better eye than I do, pal. Creepy. It looks like a face. I'm not interested in food at all. My head, it hurts. I don't feel like washing my hands right now. It smells horrible. I'm afraid to open it up. These shoes. They're not even my size. The door's shut for good. I think we've maybe looked around enough. Yeah, there we go. Cutscene takeover. Oh, something's happening with the walls there. Yeah, just when you thought the place couldn't look worse. Oh no, company's coming and I didn't have a chance to clean the apartment. I hate when that happens. That's your intro. First time I actually played this game, it suddenly throwing me into that other world version of the apartment like that. I kind of wondered if the game had glitched and somehow loaded me later into the game than the actual start. But at least as we're getting this opening credits flyby view of everything, things are looking a little more inviting. Well, with the possible exception of those heavy chains on the front door. Uh, we'll come to those later. Silent Hill 4, The Room. Yeah, this basically marks where they stopped just giving games numbers and started giving them subtitles. We just met our protagonist, Henry Townsend. Uh, yeah, I hope you're not really hoping to find out any more other than his name, because uh, that's about all we're ever really going to know about the guy. Well, if you insist that I look at the phone... <laughs> Gods. Pushy much? Yeah, try a few more. You'd think the lack of a dial tone or anything else would be your first clue there, Henry. But then what do I know? Hello? Help me. What? Oh, suddenly the America Online sign-on noise. The cord's cut.
Okay, now do you mind terribly if I look around a bit? Thank you. It's that lake in Silent Hill. I went sightseeing there a few years ago. I like this photo because it really captures the beauty and tranquility of the trees and lake there. I put this up on the wall right after I moved here. <laughs> we'll call back to the original Silent Hill there. Photo of the church I ran across while I was visiting Silent Hill. Yep, it's the Balkan Church. Right where we met Dahlia. For some reason I was really attracted by the way it looked, so I took the picture. Well, good for you. We can look out the windows, now that things are a bit cleaner and everything. Things seem normal enough, aside from our weird phone. We seem pretty interested in this woman at the subway terminal there. I guess Henry's pretty genre savvy if that's the one thing he notices out of everything else. Yes, she she walked down the subway. You can give us control now. Oh, you actually have to hit a button for it. Okay. Normally, if you look out the window, this is the kind of view you get. And you can look around a bit, spy on your neighbors uh, across the courtyard there. Sometimes there will be an Easter egg in the sky, but for now it doesn't seem to be there. Oh, we also have a phone number, 555-3750. Seems to be the number for a bar. Maybe we should order in some drinks. Slowest cursor ever. Well, all right. Sounds like they've got quite the rowdy crowd over there. That noise just now, what was that? Guess that's what happens when you give the monsters of Silent Hill booze, nice to know.